So now that you know what we're talking about, I'm going to introduce the objectives. And they are as follow. Today we'll learn how to identify with three types of pronouns, as you saw in, in the video. We're going to learn how to start a dialogue. We will be able to discuss a familiar topic and make suggestions as well. But how is that possible? We will see. Now, why do we use pronouns? What are their usage like? In what context do we use them? Here's the biggest question, and we need an answer to that question. Now, let's agree on the fact that nouns are indicators of the following. Things, places, ideas, people, and animals. But how about pronouns? What about them? Well, pronouns are in favor of nouns. They actually replace them. How? As we said previously, we got three types of pronouns. Subject pronouns, object pronouns, and possessive pronouns. We're going to start off with subject pronouns. And a subject pronoun is used as the subject of a sentence in place of a person's or thing's name or description, particularly after the subject has already been introduced. So, a subject pronoun simply replaces a subject, whether a person, a thing, an animal, or a place, pronouns are there to be the alternative of these nouns. And we got different types of pronouns here. We can split them into two categories, singular subject pronouns and plural subject pronouns. Singular, they mean one entity, one person, one thing, one animal one place, in contrary to the plural subject with, which has the meaning of uh, uh, many or more than two, as in we, you and they. Now you is a pronoun that can be used interchangeably like in singular subject pronouns or as a, as a plural subject pronoun. Why? I could be talking to someone who is in front of me and I would tell him, you are my best friend, for example. Or I could be talking to a group of people and I would tell them, you guys are my best friends. So I can use it as a singular and as a plural subject uh, pronoun. Now, you can remember subject pronouns easily by filling in the blank subject space for a simple sentence. For example, blank did the job. And here we ask who did the job. We can say here Sam, Chang, the boy, a group of girls, he, she, it, they, whoever, who, if we are asking a question. So, all qualify and are therefore subject pronouns. That's how we assess. We ask who. Now, for further uh, uh, um, explanation, here's a video that I just made, pretending that I'm talking to one of my friends, and I'll be using all of the subject pronouns. Now please pay attention to this part because I'm going to highlight all of the subject pronouns that I have used. Let's get into it. Hello? Hey Chang, all is good? Uh, listen buddy, uh, uh, I just wanted to apologize about what happened yesterday. 
you were trying to cheer me up, but I wasn't in the mood. So, I'm sorry. Lee? She couldn't come because of lockdown. You know, uh, uh, coronavirus is striking again. It is very dangerous outside. I would never take the risk of catching COVID-19. Yeah, I guess uh, um, we should never meet until everything is clear and safe. You know, um, they, they mentioned on the news that everything shall get back to normal in six months. Who knows? It might take forever. Let's just stay at home. Thank you. Bye bye. See you. Okay? Stay safe. So, in this video, I almost like used all of the subject pronouns except for maybe he. We can say he is sick, for example. Okay, this is verb to be is. And I can say, you are my best friend. You are my best friend. So here we got some examples. In the first example, I used, I just want to apologize. I want to apologize. So here, I is the subject pronoun. You is the subject pronoun. And he, she, and so. All of these are subject pronouns, meaning they replace the subject. He could be Sam. I is actually me, Mr. Remo. You could be you, the one who is like watching me right now. Uh, we could be you guys and I. So all of us should never meet until the coronavirus is like uh, uh, over. You in a plural. You make me proud because you're listening to my lesson and you're actually attentive you're trying to uh, uh, um, understand this lesson you make me proud all of you they mentioned on the news that the pandemic or coronavirus is striking again so they and by they, I mean like uh, the news reporters. They are usually like three of them on the screen, right? So here's like, here are the examples on uh, subject pronouns. And in subject pronouns, we ask who, like who did the action? It's always the subject who did that. Okay. Moving on, let's go to the next type of pronouns, which is object pronouns. You got it right. But, be but before we get into that, let's check if we mastered this. Uh, 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 skill or not okay so the exercise is as follow you should complete each sentence with the appropriate pronoun use the words in italics that precede each sentence as clues okay so these are our clues okay and we're going to uh, make use of them so here we have to uh, uh, replace these nouns these names with a pronoun one of the pronouns that we have that we went over like two seconds ago Joe is my best friend now Joe is a male that's one and he's one person so a, a pronoun for a male for a singular uh, uh, male what would fit 
I'll give you two choices. Is it he or she? Which one fits the best? You're correct, it's he. So, he is my best friend instead of Joe. The second example, my uncle blank still drives a Camaro, a, a type of, of uh, uh, car, a vehicle. So my uncle, my uncle, an uncle is like a uh, uh, a male, uh, and he is like singular, so it resembles uh, uh, this example, the previous example actually, the one that has to do with Joe, who is one entity, one person. So what do you think guys, which pronoun fits? Yep, he as well. Now Karen and I, here we got two people, two entities. So we're done with singular pronouns. Now we get to the plural pronouns. Okay, and let me remind you of the plural pronouns that we got. We can say you, we, or they. Okay, these are the three singular pronouns. Karen and I. Which pronoun replaces these two? So I am involved with someone else. When I'm talking about myself and someone else, we say usually we. We were voted most popular couple. How about the fourth example? Four. Those boys. Oh, so we got more than one boy. And they are boys like males are always getting into trouble who is getting into tr into trouble yep you got it right they are go they are always getting into trouble they are troublemakers how about my mother my mother is one person but she is a female now we're talking about a female never ceases to amaze me My mother could be replaced with she, since we're talking about subject pronouns. Now, how about Anne and Jill? Here, I'm not involved. I didn't say Anne and I. I s I'm talking about two different pers like people, and um, I'm not addressing them like uh, uh, directly. And I'm not involved in their activity. I'm just talking about two, like, uh, uh, detached people. So which pronoun would, like, uh, uh, match in this term? Think about it. Three, two, one. They. They will be here at night. Who? Who are they? Anne and Jill. Who is she? That's my mother. Who are they? Those boys. Uh, who are we? Well, Karen and I. Who is he? My uncle. Who is he? Joe. So here I'm asking who? Who is doing the action? How about Mr. Williams? Mr. Williams. Mr. Williams is one person uh, and he's a male. So he. Mike and I. Oh, here I'm, I'm involved with another person. So we say we. The car. The car is not a person. It's not a living thing. When you come across something that is not lively, something that is non-living, 
then we have to 